three, two, one, and hopefully now it's working. I love you guys in the comments that are freaking out. It's not starting! I just said we had problems syncing everything. Sometimes YouTube likes to do that. Look at how Memphis is laying. She's like completely curled up against the couch. Look at her. <laughs> uh, Katie, thank you for the super chat already. Holy cow, you guys are fast on that. Um, you re hey, Shirley, thank you for coming in and moderating for me again. Oh, my goodness. It's so crazy. So, yeah, if um, for some reason you guys aren't seeing everything, anything, reload your screen. Of course, if you're not seeing it, you're not going to hear it. If you can't see it, reload it. There we go. That should work. Look at these. Look at these lazy, lazy dogs. Look at them. Look at these lazy dogs. Tell me, are you being lazy? Hey, are you being lazy? She's like, I am, guys. I'm being so lazy. Is Memphis is being lazy. Oh, look, you guys get to see it before the video goes up. We got the tree up. I did not get any of the ornaments on it yet. I haven't finished the video, but we did get the tree up, so that's pretty cool. Um, hi, everybody! All right, looks like we've got quite a few people in here already, so I will go ahead and start with all of the fun stuff. Um... As always, you guys, we are going to be doing this Q&A. Thank you, Stephanie, for the super chat. Um, super chats of $5 or more actually get pinned up to the top, and those questions get answered first. Anything below that, sometimes I miss, but I will try to make sure to answer those as well. Uh, what else? So the super chat questions are answered first, but we try to answer as many questions as we can. So go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below, and we will try to get to as many of them as we can. As you guys know, the uh, chat tends to go really, really fast, so we do our best to answer what we can. Miss Oakley is here as well, but she is laying in her kennel. See her? She's like, I'm sleeping in my kennel because this is where I like to be. <laughs> so yeah, they, uh, the dogs are kind of sleeping. What are they doing? What are we doing? Uh, a couple announcements that I have for today. One, the 2018 Gone to the Snow Dogs calendars are available and the signed, autographed posters are available. The posters are the ones like I have on the wall over there that have the dog's autographs on them. There is a link up in the cards and down in the video description below if you want to um, go check those out. And what else, what else, what else, what else? So the signed photograph posters, oh, the Shelby Strong t-shirts are still available as well. There's a link for that down in the, in the video description below. And we did start a new channel. I know most of you guys have seen it already. It is Snow Dogs Cooking. There's also a link for that up in the cards. You can click on the cards and there's a link for that. That channel is our new people cooking channel and there will be a video going up on that channel tomorrow. Was that all the main things that I had to say at the beginning? I think, I think so. So I think now we can kind of get into it and get into some questions. Want to answer some questions, Shelby? What do you think? Oh, the in the universe. You can still see on Shelby's face where she's missing some of her fur. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, you guys are asking some really weird questions, like really weird questions. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's Oakley? For the seven million hundredth time, she's in her kennel. I have three dogs and one camera. So the problem is, is you're not ever going to be able to see all three dogs on one camera because they're not always going to be in the same spot. Like right now I got Shelby right here, I got Memphis right here, and I got Oakley over there. See, she's right there. She's sleeping in her kennel. It's where she wants to be. The door's wide open. There's actually no door on it at all anymore. But that's uh, that's where she's at. The dogs are napping, resting up. <laughs> We're doing this, Shelby. Hey, I want to look at you. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Shelby. Shelby's like, no, I don't want you to look at me. And then Memphis is laying real silly right here. Hi, Memphis. <laughs> Hi, Memphis. How's it going? How are you? Tell me. She's like, uh, how about no? <laughs> oh, the other
another big announcement we had to make today is uh, we did hit 500,000 audience members. And uh, we wanted to say thank you guys for helping us reach 500,000 audience members, which is pretty crazy. We've been doing this for quite a long time. Here, you want some Oakley time? Let's have some Oakley time. <laughs> There's a Miss Oakley. There's a Miss Oakley. Yeah, get some Oakley time in there. There you go. There you go. I get some Oakley time in. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. So, yes, we just recently reached 500,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. And it took us eight years to do it, but it happened on our eight-year YouTube anniversary, which is pretty cool. For those of you that watch us over at youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs, we kind of talked about it a little bit, which is really amazing. It's just so awesome to have you guys here and have you guys supporting us through all these things. It's so crazy. Um, I do want to do a play button dog cookie for hitting 500,000 subscribers, but it probably won't actually happen until January because it's Christmas time and we have Christmas cookies that we want to do. So it probably won't actually happen until January. I think my camera just froze. Did this camera freeze? Did this can that camera freeze? I think that camera just froze. So I think we're gonna end up with one camera again. This is so, I don't know why that keeps happening. Huh. Hmm. Weird. No, ah, there's Memphis. Oh, oh, oh. What'd you hear? There ain't nobody here. Nobody here. Apparently my internet today is being horrible too, so hopefully this isn't choppy for you guys. I don't know what the deal is on that. Kind of weird. So anyway, let's get to some questions. Again, if you guys want to submit questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Super Chat questions will be answered first. But we'll try to answer those first, and then we'll answer other questions that are down in the comments. I'm going to see if we can grab this camera back from Miss Oakley and see if uh, we can get it to work again. Let's see if we can get the camera to work again since we broke the camera. We're pretty good at breaking cameras. Let's see, did it work? Yay! We fixed it. Just by picking it up, I fixed it? Cool. Cool. Fix the camera. Are you getting the girls' Christmas outfits? Um, we usually do, like, the little Jingle Bell collars. Like, Memphis, here. Want to have a Jingle Bell collar? This is actually Oakley's. But, oh, good stretch, Miss Oakley. Good stretch. See? Memphis has her Jingle Bell collar on. Um, <laughs> those are usually what we end up doing with the dogs. We don't really do like full outfits or anything. I've thought about doing them just for fun Instagram photos, but yeah, we just kind of do the collars and have a little bit of fun with those. So we do plan on doing a, um, a video where we show some of those and things like that soon. Uh, da, 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 da. Will you ever get another dog? People ask us that all the time. Do you really think we won't get another dog? <laughs> uh, will you be doing more live videos? We're doing a live video right now. If you didn't have a husky, what other type of dog would you have? A husky. We'd have huskies. That's what we have. <laughs> uh, dun, 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 dun. Whoa. Will you be taking the dog sledding this year? Um, I definitely think that Shelby and Memphis will go sledding, but I don't think Oakley. We said, kind of said last year that last year was going to be Oakley's last uh, year for sledding. And I do think that with the issues she's had with her leg and her cancer, um, I think that it's going to be too much for her to actually go sledding this year. So I don't think Oakley will be pulling a sled this year. I'm sure we'll take her out and do some fun stuff out in the snow, but I don't think she's actually going to be pulling a sled this year. She's 13, 13 and a half. I think uh, she's had enough sled pulling in her life. But I'm sure we'll take her out to do some fun stuff still. Dun, 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 dun. Is this going to be an actual video? It, it is an actual video. <laughs> what are you currently feeding your dogs? We're cur they're on rotation right now, and their current rotation is Wellness Core Raw Rev, the wild game version. What are you doing, Oakley? Are you rubbing your face? You're rubbing your face. <laughs> you want me to scratch your ear for you? Do you like, no, I got it. I got this on my own. I got this on my own. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. How many pets do you have? Three. Would you ever have a fourth husky? Eventually. 
Have you ever seen a white husky? Yes. Do you... Are you going to make more parody music videos? Parody music videos are really hard to do. One, because neither Jamie or I write music, and it's hard to find somebody to write music for us. And then you put all the work into a parody song, and then the music gets hit with copyright, so it's, like, kind of hard to do. You put all the work into it, and then you can, you can't monetize the video, so that kind of becomes difficult. Somebody said Oakley has cancer. Yeah, if you go back and watch our past few videos, we talked about it extensively in a couple of our videos. Dun, dun, dun. Oakley's stealing the spotlight. She is. Look at her. Oh, it's an Oakley spotlight. Yeah, Oakley spotlight. <laughs> Why do your dogs have a massive power of cute? I don't know, but they really, really do. <laughs> Man, you guys really want to know about us getting a new dog. Are you planning on getting a different dog? What type of dog are you going to get? We're going to get another husky. When? I don't know. Will we get a fourth dog? I don't know. Oh, and then there's my favorite, the rudest question. <laughs> uh, da 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 have you ever can you make an edible dog iphone maybe would you do more of the socks that you did you know we that's a good question we haven't done those in a while those were actually fun but we haven't done those in a while what are you what are you doing over here huh are you chewing on that bone you look cute with that collar on even if it isn't yours <laughs> it says like i am pretty cute yes it snowed in michigan but it has not st stuck Playing, bring back the intro with the song. That has been gone for months, and sadly, it probably won't end up coming back. Um, YouTube is very fickle. I'm sure those of you that are watching right now probably watch a lot of YouTubers, and you've probably heard from many of them the issues with, like, demonetization and watch time, and if you're not a creator, none of these things really mean anything to you, but there's algorithms and watch time and demonetization and... Our intro was an audience retention drop. What happened was when our intro hit, people would skip it. So our audience retention would show this great big huge drop. So YouTube said, oh, people don't like the beginning of your videos. So they were hiding our videos from the subscription box. Because if you don't watch our videos for so many times, eventually they don't put them in the sub box anymore. And blah, 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 complaining about how YouTube is broken. So... To answer your question, there's a good chance the intro is not coming back. You can thank YouTube for that. <laughs> thank you, Aaron, for the super chat. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> when you read the questions, can you say who's asking, please? No, because they go by so fast. I usually just read the question. Half the time, I don't actually get to see who's asking. Sorry. The only time I really get to see it is when it's a super chat because it actually stays there. But when I, when it's like just going by, most of the time, because I have the two different colors on my screen, I read like the black part so I can actually read it and then it's gone. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Are huskies hard to deal with or are they fine? Um, Both. I think they take a special type of person to really raise a husky. I mean, I really do. Wow, YouTube, that's so nice of you, right? Yeah, YouTube is slowly killing a lot of creators. Like, it's it's pretty crazy. And right now, the new adpocalypse is all against, like, family-friendly creators, and everybody's getting hit. And I have some friends of mine that are pretty big YouTubers, and they're, they're getting hurt pretty bad, so it sucks. And then, you know, we have a lot of people that are asking, you know, well, what can we do to help you? Well, we have multiple channels, so, you know, we're not doing too bad. But with the fact that we have the multiple channels, um, we also have, like, in our video description, we have a Patreon. We have other ways that you guys can support us through, like, our merch. Or then just watching and sharing our videos really, really helps us. Um, I do have a video going up on Monday that is the update. That's actually Shelby's visit to the Cancer Center. For those of you guys that have been keeping up with the videos, Shelby did have her visit to the Cancer Center on Wednesday. Um... So she did have her visit to the cancer center on Wednesday, and she, uh, oh, hold on, I gotta fix that real quick. Um, she had her visit to the cancer center on Wednesday, and her scans and everything came back clear. She had a radiograph, she had a, she had three radiographs, she had an x-ray, she had a chem panel done, she had a blood work done, she had a CBC panel done, and everything came back clear. 
We're only waiting on one more thing to come back. I was gonna upload that video today, but I would really like to have the last answer from the vet before I do it. So hopefully I will hear back from them by Monday. We're waiting on the count of her, her cell count in her tumor that they removed. So that is currently what we are waiting to get back from the doctor before I do the full video. But on a positive note, everything looked really good besides that. Everything came back clear, so that's a good thing. Stephanie, thank you for the super chat. What happened to the girls' individual channels? Did they disappear and I didn't know it? They should still be there. I don't think they disappeared. I just checked them the other day. They should still be there. Dun, dun, dun. Will Huskies do good in the country with no fence? Um, no. So I guess my honest answer on that is it's not about if you can teach a Husky to stay in your yard it's about when will the husky that you thought you taught to stay in your yard actually take off from your yard and go chase down somebody's chickens. <laughs> um, I know people that do it. I know people that have had huskies that have stayed in their yard for months, weeks, years, and then all of a sudden something triggers them and they take off. So I wouldn't trust them, but that's just me. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, hi Zach. Yeah, everything is coming along really good. It's uh, the vet even said that we're pretty much in the clear, but we just we need to get that information back from the pathologist. For some reason, they didn't put those numbers on her report, which they should have been there, but they weren't. Melissa Fletcher says, "Do you think you will try and get another puppy from the breeder you got Memphis from, or will you try to adopt one? If we get a puppy, it's definitely going to be from the same breeder we got Memphis from. If we get a puppy." Grace Romero, thank you for the super chat. Happy holidays. Do you and Jamie have a public Amazon wish list for you, Jamie, and the dogs? Um, I don't actually. I that's not something I ever really thought about doing. Like, I don't have a public wish list for us. Um, I have like our Amazon store, but <laughs> oh, wild Jamie appears. Um, I have an Amazon store, but I don't have, like, a public wish list for things that we want. Does that make sense? Um, go to Harry Houdini Siberian Husky Rescue, hhshr.com, and they have an Amazon wish list, and you can order things and send it to the rescue, and you can make the donations courtesy of, like, you know, Instead of getting something for us or the dogs, you can buy stuff for them and say, oh, we bought, you know, we're followers have gone to the snow dogs and we wanted to send you this stuff. Does that make sense? That would be really cool. I don't, but we don't have a, we don't have like a public wish list. I guess I could make one, but I don't know. Maybe. Do you guys want me to make one? Is that something you'd want to see is like a wish list of stuff for the dogs? I guess it would make sense because I could pick the things that we always want to buy to make videos with the dogs and then if you guys sent it it would be like you sponsored that video so that'd be kind of cool i'll think about it pam duncan what did the animal cancer center have to say i literally just said it <laughs> you can't see jamie he's invisible he's in the comments where did oakley go she disappeared forever and a day she's gone we don't know where she went she's I don't have a 360 screen. I feel like I should do 360 live streams because everybody always wants to know where every other animal in the room is. She's right there. She's just sleeping. <laughs> just sleeping. Oh, this dog is dreaming though. We want to watch this dog. I just saw her little feet twitch. Oh, maybe not. I think she heard a truck. Hi, Kira. I see you down there. Oh, I see you did hear something. Like I heard something. Guys, I heard something. There was something. Is it Santa Claus? Up on the rooftop, do do do, and Oakley got her stitches out. <laughs> uh, you should totally do a wish list. We can see. I I can do that. I'll do a little wish list. I'll put one together, and maybe, and then I'll put like notes next to it. Maybe for some of it, it'll be things that like our local, uh, uh, animal control. Our local animal control is trying to do some things. They just did another uh, cat hoarding situation. So maybe I will. I'll put one up. When is the new merch coming out? We released some new merch in our Teespring store. Uh, the um, Shelby shirts are there. I don't have a holiday shirt yet. Hopefully, the next day or two, I'll have a holiday shirt up. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Yeah, the jingles. I know Memphis's jingles. 
Teddy Bear 1287 said, did the oncologist give you any opinion on raw feeding? Given the research you've done, what direction would you go for the girls? So the oncologist, who's been an oncologist for a long time, I did kind of talk to her about that a little bit. And her biggest thing was um, <laughs> that there's, the, what she felt was is there's kind of a lot more overhyped to that stuff than there needs to be that there is good foods out there you just have to do your research on what's in them the, where they're made what they do and moderation is key and having a balanced diet is key so we kind of talked about that she thinks that you know she doesn't think that raw is bad or anything but she also thinks that you know there's a lot of different things that can go into it like feeding them you know partial raw, partial kibble, partial veggies, things like that. You basically just want to make sure that they have a well-balanced diet. The dog, the food the dogs are on right now is a limited ingredient food, which is a good thing. There's not a whole lot of like weird, unpronounceable things in it, which is nice. But they're also on the dehydrated raw currently. And then every once in a while they do get raw, raw, raw chicken and stuff like that. So, um, but we kind of talked about that a little bit about, um, that Cancer is a lot more common than you think. And, you know, a lot of people think that dogs are dying from cancer now because of dog foods. But at the same time, dogs have been dying of cancer for years and years and years and years and years. We just had no idea because years and years and years ago, nobody took their dog to a cancer center. Nobody took their dog to an oncologist. When dogs got sick, a lot of times, years ago, nothing was done. It wasn't like people went... To do a radiograph on my dog and do an x-ray on my dog and do all these things to my dog. It just wasn't something that was done. So as crazy as it sounds, cancer has actually been, you know, in pets for a long time. It's not just the type of food you're feeding them that causes it. Not that it doesn't cause it because there, there are certain types of food that, you know, are more like eating McDonald's every day. If that makes sense. I felt like I was rambling. But I hope that made sense. <laughs> uh. Do you have a preference, PetSmart or Petco? I like Petco just because we've worked with them and the people at their company that I always talk with are really nice. They actually sent us some dog beds. Uh, if you guys watch Press Record, the bed that I gave to Nora was one that Petco sent us just because. <gasps> Broken Admin! Hey everybody, miss you guys. Hope you have and have slash had wonderful holidays. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you on here. I saw that you have uh, possibly have a video coming. Maybe? <laughs> uh, how's it going? Um, Thank you for the super chat, by the way. Can you help your dog? Help my dog what? How do you deal with huskies shedding around the house? Do you use any specific tools? We um, answer this question every single time we get it. We do a QA. and a I feel like we answer this question. Um, and I never understand why it's such a hard thing for people to understand. Brushing, grooming, vacuuming. That's it. That's all we do. We don't do anything special. We don't do anything different. We brush them and we vacuum. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do when there's a lot of dog hair. We probably vacuum once or twice a day. We try to run the, the robot vacuum. Jamie pretty much vacuums once or twice a day. That's pretty much what you do when you have furry dogs. <laughs> My dog has tumors and I don't have any money to take her to the vet. What should I do? That's a tough one. I don't know how to answer that. Talk to your vet. Call your vet and talk to your vet. They might have a um, program in place to help you with like a lower cost treatment or you might be able to get like care credit or something like that. Um, I would at least talk to your vet and see maybe something could be done. Does Shelby want to sing? Do you want to make everybody deaf? Do you want to make the audience deaf, Shelby? I don't know. Do you want to sing? I don't. Did we ever find your harmonica? So we can get you a note. Oh, we did. We found our harmonicas. Do we want a harmonica? Dun, dun, dun. I saw somebody. I wanted her opinion, but fine. You know, I miss most of the questions down here. So if somebody else is answering a question for me that I've answered before and they know the answer to, that's awesome. I don't mind that you guys do that because that does help me out. Happy Puppy Pink Cupcake Kisses. I love your username. Thank you so much for the super chat. Jamie's in the comments. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm going to do this. Uh, there you go, Zach. You're here all the time, so. Dun, 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 dun. Kira, don't be sick. Shelby wants to make everybody deaf. You want to make everybody deaf? Let's find out. Ready? All right, fair warning. 
Shelby, you want to sing for everybody? Sing. 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 Yeah? Sing. 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 goodness was that too loud could you guys still hear it <laughs> let's see how about you oakley yeah that's what i thought all right so we had some singing dogs singing dogs um yeah so i don't know i uh I know I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but now that there's some other people here, if you guys haven't done so yet, up in the cards, there is a link to our new cooking channel. It is youtube.com slash snowdogscooking, but if you click up in the cards up on the right-hand side, there's a little eye, and uh, you can go to our cooking channel, Snow Dogs Cooking. Our new video goes up tomorrow. If you haven't checked it out yet, go subscribe over there. It is going to be cooking for people. It's actually called Cooking with the Snow Dogs. Um, it's going to be cooking for people. So we're making, we already have one video up and we have another video, go, another video going up over there tomorrow. And then I have like two more filmed, I believe. Um, and we're going to work on another one tomorrow. And the one we're working on tomorrow is going to be so much fun. Uh, Greg is actually here right now and uh, him and Jamie are working on the plans for it. It's going to be so much fun. Um, I'm so excited. Double gangers. Hey, J and J. Happy holidays from Tokyo. Sent a card. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for the super chat. Um, speaking of sent a card, that is another link that I have up in the cards above. If you guys missed it, since it seems like a lot of people did on Monday, we put up the video on the holiday card exchange. So again, click that little I and then look for the holiday card exchange video. We are doing our holiday card exchange again this year. So uh, bye, Amber. Um, so definitely uh, let me know if you guys are going to participate in that. Let me know if you guys ended up seeing the video. Um, again, you guys, <laughs> if you're upset I'm not answering your question, there's nothing I can do about that. They're flying by and half the time I'm seeing them and half the time I don't. And I can't sit here like this the whole time and try to answer every one of them. <laughs> dun, dun, da, 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 da. Next time you rotate your foods, would you ever try Merrick? No. No, I did some research on Merrick and it wasn't one of the ones I wanted to try. I really like, we've done the Wellness Core. I really like the Wellness Core. We did the Wellness Simple Ingredient. I liked that one. And the Dr. Tim's RPM is the other one that I like. Dun, 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 dun. And then the, what is it, Open Farm, I think is the new one that our local store just started carrying. I have to check into it, though. Thank you for the congratulations on 500K. No, we've never done a charity live stream. I thought about doing a charity live stream because um, Project for Awesome is coming. Wow, what's that all about? <laughs> so maybe we'll do one, but uh, no, I haven't. I have never done one. What what's going on over here, huh? You guys gonna play? You gonna, gonna go wrestle? You gonna wrestle? Get crazy? Yeah. <laughs> oh. dun, 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 dun. Can you do hot chocolate for dogs? That is one of the things that we've talked about trying to do. Um, dun, 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 dun. Brittany, thank you for the super chat. What time do you start your day and what are your girl's normal routines? I've actually thought about 
Memphis fell in the toy. I've actually thought about doing a video on that. About, I mean, we pretty much just start the day when we get up. And, uh, pretty much just, uh, I don't know, we don't, we just have our day. They eat, we do things, they go outside, we do things. We're pretty normal around here. Push it again, Memphis. Push the toy again. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Would you ever try a rotation of Honest Kitchen Jihad? I am not a huge fan of the Honest Kitchen stuff. I looked into some of their stuff as well. I don't know. I was on the fence on it. Gio Vidrio. I know I said your name wrong. Thank you for the super chat. It says, hi, Jess. I believe my baby husky Nova is going to look just like Shelby. Very excited. Much love. Happy holidays. Awesome. I love Shelby's coloring. She's got such a cool color. What'd you find, Memphis? Memphis found her toy. The other day she was playing with that and she got so upset it was making noise, she howled at it. It was so funny. <laughs> uh, Memphis is four, Shelby is 10, Oakley is 13. Yes. Hot carob, not chocolate. That's pretty much what it would be, but it's going to be, we'll figure it out. A subscriber logo. I don't think I have that option here yet because it's not um, the sponsorship logos. Is that what you're talking about? Right now, those are only on gaming channels for some reason. Um, once they open them up here, though, I do plan to do that because YouTube is doing this new thing where you can sponsor channels. I think it's basically going to be like Patreon, only on YouTube. So you'll actually get like a special little icon next to your name, depending on your level of support for the channel. When all that comes out, I'll make a video on it and go over it. But right now, I believe it is only available on gaming channels. I do have it on Arcade Snow Dogs, but I haven't played with it really yet over there. Do you have any new Christmas treat ideas? I've seen almost all of your videos. And treats are so fun to watch. I have a couple that I've been thinking about doing. Um, not this week, but next week we'll have at least one new Christmas treat video. Probably that week and the week after. Can you open a Discord? I've thought about it. I don't know that I have the time to put into it. I have a hard enough time running the Facebook group that I already run. Which if you guys aren't a part of that, it's down in the video description below as well. Um, and then like running all the other social media sites that I run. I think adding a discord might be a little bit much. I thought about doing it to give back to our Patreon pledges, but I also started like a private group for that and there's just not enough people in it to keep the group active. So I thought maybe discord would be better, but then it would only be private. So I don't know, maybe. Oh, she got it to make noise again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dun, 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 dun. How much do you feed your dogs a day? A cup and a half of food. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, somebody just said bye as it went by. I missed it. Bye. Dun, dun, dun. Now all I have is twinkle twinkle little star stuck in my head. <laughs> Are you still doing bark boxes? No, we quit doing bark boxes quite a while ago. We said in the video that we weren't going to be doing them anymore. We do still do the Pup Joy boxes, which I actually like a lot better than bark boxes, but I have two of them sitting right over there that I need to do. And actually, both of them will probably be done in one video. <laughs> what kind of leads do you use for your dogs? Currently, the leashes we use are climbing rope leashes, and they were from... I don't remember where I ordered them from. I don't remember. But they're climbing rope leashes. Hi. I know Mike and Brittany run a Discord and that they run groups that are both public and private. It's not that I don't know how to do it. It's that I don't think I have the time to do it. Because you do have to moderate things like that. Um, and I don't think I have the time to do it. I mean, we're currently running four YouTube channels, the Podience group. I run a YouTube creators group that's got over 7,000 creators in it. And then I run another YouTube creators group. And then I run another YouTube creators group. So I actually have three YouTube creators group plus the Podience group on Facebook, plus the Facebook page, plus I've run multiple Facebook pages. And then all the Twitter accounts. So I have all of these things that I do. And they all take moderation. And like the YouTube creator stuff, I don't, you know, I mean, this is what we do for a living. I don't make money doing the um, YouTube creator stuff. So I actually started a YouTube channel to go along with that so that 
when new things come out, we can kind of talk about them and make videos on them. But I don't have a place to film the videos yet, so we're working on that. So with all of the millions of things that we're doing, a Discord just isn't something that I'm ready to start. Once we start getting a little bit more, you know, what we're going on, maybe we'll start a Discord. But uh, I just know that it's something that that has to be moderated and like I know you can use like bots and stuff but if I'm gonna start something like that like I want to be a part of it I want to be there I want to be talking to you guys I want to have people from the audience helping out and like being moderators and things there so you know like I said I, I I've thought about it I've considered it but not yet <laughs> uh. You guys work so hard. How do you manage three channels, social media, merch shop, talking about the dogs, vet, taking the dogs to vet appointments, events, and so much more without going crazy? We're currently running four, four channels, full trying to do them on a full schedule. I have more than that. Um, how do we do it? We just do. I mean, it's like anything else. Most people work 40 hours a week. You know, they work full time. You're working about 40 hours a week. Pop joy! You guys, pop joy! Just did a super chat. That's like the real pup joy. You know, the boxes that here, wait, 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 wait. I got it. Wait, there we go. There's the boxes are over there. Oh, this camera froze up again. Dang it. There's pup joy boxes right there. There's two of them and they're going to be in my next pup joy unboxing video. Hi, pup joy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, all the things we do. Uh, most people work like a 40 hour a week job, 35, 40 hours a week, whatever it is, full time. That's pretty much what we do. I mean, we do a lot, and I don't really have, like, a, I don't work from 9 to 5. I don't have, like, a set schedule where I work 9 to 5. But, I, you know, I have schedules, and I have things that have to be done at certain times on certain days, and I just do them. I think the biggest thing, and this is another reason I want to start my other YouTube channel, is I want it to be kind of like an inspirational, educational type of channel about doing what we do. Um, I think the biggest thing is you either want it or you don't. If you want it bad enough, you will find a way to make it happen. You will find a way to put in the work, to put in the time, to grind, to hustle, to do what you need to do to make what you do work. And if you don't want it that bad, you'll find an excuse. Oh, I can't do it because. Oh, I can't do it because. Oh, I can't. Like Discord. Like I want to, but apparently I don't want to do it that bad because I can make an excuse for why I won't do it. So that's one of those things in my brain where I go... Of all the things I have to do, that's not way up here. I'm going to do all these things that are way up here first. And then if I have time, then I can do that. If that makes sense. Hey, Pup Joy. How exciting. You guys are down in the comments. That's fun. Uh, do you and Jamie get time together with all the social media? Yeah, we spend every day together. Like, we live together. We work together. We're here together all the time. We barely spend any time apart. Like, Jamie and I do everything together. We don't even have, like, there's not even times where, like, I'm going to my friend's house by myself. Very rarely does that happen. Once in a while, Jamie will go out to, like, uh, his buddy, you know, you guys know Amanda and Joe with Axel and Ruger. Once in a while, he'll go out to their house, and I'll end up staying here just because I had stuff to get done. But most of the time, we do everything together. I mean, that's just, we've been together for, like, 20 years, and I know a lot of people are like, that's too much time to spend together. I don't know, we like each other. We really, we get along well, so we do everything together. Maybe we're crazy, or maybe we just have a good relationship. I don't know. <laughs> uh, do you ever want to do races just for fun? Do you ever want to do races just for fun? We already do. Oh, you mean like enter a race just for fun? Um, We've thought about it. I know there's a dry land race this weekend that I kind of really wanted to go to, but for some reason I thought it was next weekend, so it didn't actually work out. Hey, Shirley! Shirley, you don't have to do super chats. Congrats on the subscribers. Wanted to let you know I'm sending a package for Memphis that has air in it. You'll get it once, you'll, you'll get it once you've opened it. All right. Thanks, Shirley. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm trying to send a super chat. No, you can do super chats for as little as $2, not $500. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hit the refresh page. That might work. Do all three sleep in a crate? Um, only Oakley does, and Oakley does by choice. Her crate has... Oh, that's a good stretch, Oakley. Um, her crate, the door is open all the time. So it... it I can't believe this is frozen. Um, the crate, Her crate door is open all the time, and she actually chooses to sleep in there. Dun, 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 dun. What are you doing, honey? 
<laughs> Whoever said 20 years is too much time together is crazy. That's funny. Somebody said that. Soulmate Sives, have you ever seen the uh, Gaudi coat coloring? It's my all-time favorite coloring in the breed. Lots of love and support from our pack to yours. I have seen the Gaudi coat coloring, and I love that coloring as well. My favorite, though, is still the red and white. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Memphis. <sighs> How did you get Oakley to sleep in her crate? She's always done it ever since we got her. We never made her do it. She's always done it. Dun, 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 dun. The Fife Lake Michigan race got canceled. Aww. Was it at Fife Lake? The one that Mid Union Sled Haulers was putting on? Why did I think it was like by Alabaster or something? I don't know. See? I'm all messed up. If you end up going to Mid Union Sled Hauler races, Aurora Husky, I think was your name. If you see us, why does your name sound familiar? Have we met you before? Um, make sure you say hi to us. Would you ever consider getting another breed of dog? No. <laughs> Would you ever come to Scotland? Can't. It's hard to travel across like that with the dogs. I love your laugh. Oh, thanks. I hear that all the time. Like, I laugh. My laugh is uncontrolled. It just happens. <laughs> See? I didn't even think about it. Um, do your dogs lick the couch excessively? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Oakley. Do you want to go outside? We almost made it an hour. You want me to end this live stream so you can go outside? All right, you guys. Thank you, Ujal, for the super chat. We are going to go ahead and end this live stream, especially because this silly camera froze up. See, last time this happened, my other camera froze up. I don't know what the deal is. So we're going to go ahead and end this live stream. Again, if you click over on the right-hand side, up in the corner, there's a little eye. There are links to... The 2018 calendars, make sure you get one. They are limited. They won't be available for forever. I think we've already sold half of them. So if you're thinking about getting one, my advice is don't wait, get one. Um, the signed, photographed posters, there are quite a few of those left right now. Um, they should be restocked. They, I just sent them back out. They got them today. So those should be going out again soon. So those are also in the link up above. Um, the Shelby Strong shirt, the Shelby Strong shirts are up above as well, and then the link to the new channel, Cooking with the Snow Dogs, is also there. So be sure to head on over there, subscribe to that, and uh, if you're looking for a new video from us, there there will be a video on that channel tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. I'm gonna go because we have to go work on another thing for that channel video. Yeah, and you guys got to see the preview of the Christmas tree, but now this is frozen, so I can't. Oh, I, wait, there's another super chat before I end it. Hold on. Teddybear1287, thank you for the super chat, says FWIW. I don't know what that means. One of my girls was diagnosed at five months old with renal dysplasia slash chronic kidney disease. Since then, I fed her a custom raw diet and followed her specialist vet recommendations, and now she's almost four. I'm not sure what FW4... Four, four, well, I'm glad to hear that that is working for you. That is awesome. You know, as crazy as it is, I know a lot of people like super promote raw and say it's good for every single dog. I have a friend of mine, a friend of mine who does like all natural holistic things with her dogs and she started to feed her dog raw and he can't eat it. His body actually cannot digest raw and he got really sick and then she thought it was just the way she was doing it. So like she saw a specialist and they tried switching it and it was crazy, but there's some type of condition the dog has where his stomach just doesn't break things down correctly. So as much as people want to say it's the answer to everything, you got to do your own research and you got to do things on your own because it's not the answer to everything. There are definitely, like I said, our dogs get raw and I know a lot of people that do it, but you, it's still something you got to be careful with. It's the same thing with dog foods too, though. I mean, you got to be careful with what you're feeding them. Look into what you're giving them, the treats you're giving them, the food you're giving them, any of that stuff. Look into it before you give it to them. Dun, dun, dun. Stephanie, thank you for the super chat. Okay, we're ending this. Hi, how's it going? Did you come up here to say hi to me? Did you come up here to say hi to me? Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right, and since my other computer, my other camera isn't working, we're going to go ahead and end this. 
<laughs> all right you guys if you're new to this channel and you like what you saw don't forget to hit that subscribe button like this video and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing stay <laughs> positive dream big and we will see you again soon again links up in the cards down in the video description below go check them out follow us on all of our social sites so you can make sure not to miss our videos i know a lot of you guys youtube is notorious for making it so you guys miss our content so make sure you're following us everywhere so that you don't miss all the fun things that we do. Bye guys. Woo, I pushed the wrong button. Push this.